Hello and welcome to Sophistix Beginners Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to start a new project. We begin by starting Sophistix Structural Desktop, short SSD. Here we can create a new project, open existing projects or create a project from a template. You can also directly access already existing projects over here. Let's start a new project. First, we have to choose a folder where to save our project and give it a name right here. I will call mine test. You can also give the project a title. This title will show up in the reports that you create. The next step is to select the design code. We have a variety of codes supported, but I actually go with the Euro code right here. Next, we can choose which kind of system we want to calculate. In our tutorial, we will do a 2D slab slash girder. Next is the group divisor. The group divisor lets you set a maximum number of finite elements per group. The default setting is 10,000. You only need to change this value for very big projects. So we will leave the preset right here. Next, I'll take a look at the unit sets. Those are the units used in your project. Here you can select the language for your project itself. In location, you can add location specific factors to your project and the boxed values let you adjust the design code specific factors that are used in the calculation. In pre-processing, you can select which program you want to use for your system and geometry definition. We want to create our system AutoCAD based, therefore we select SophiePlus. SophiePlus uses AutoCAD as a platform, that means SophiePlus files are saved as DWG files. A little side note at this point, you only need the .sophistic and the .dwg file to recreate your project. All other files are generated in the calculation process. We can also select the template right here. I will show you the effect of the template once we enter the program. Lastly, let's take a look at the definition of our coordinate system. The coordinate system is based on the direction of self-weight. In our case, we want the negative Z axis to align with the direction of self-weight. Once we leave this dialog by clicking OK, the norm and the coordinate system are fixed for this project. They cannot be changed anymore. Now we enter the program. There are generally two areas, the navigation area with the task tree and the working area. The Sophistic Structural Desktop works task oriented. That means it calculates one task after another based on the task tree you create. Every step in modeling, calculation and design is represented by tasks. You can assign those tasks to groups like the ones in this project. System, calculation, superposition and load case combination and design reinforced concrete. You can of course delete, add, adjust tasks by right clicking in the task tree and the same functionality of course applies to groups. A suggestion of tasks and groups is already created for you based on the template that you selected in the beginning. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.